What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here tonight from techinform.us and I want to talk about the future of TVs. In the past few months we've heard a crap load of stuff about where TVs are going and TV kits and stuff you can buy. Uh, I really haven't been tuned into it a whole lot. I haven't made a video about it uh, for one primary reason. I spend probably an hour in front of the TV every two weeks. I really don't watch TV very much at all. So, um, having said that, I did do a little bit of research here. I have uh, a couple um, tabs open that I want to talk about. The Apple TV. The original Apple TV was very expensive. It didn't do very much. It was pretty big. And uh, I actually wanted to buy it. I saved up a lot of money for it a couple years ago, and then I looked at it and thought, you know, I would never use this. The new Apple TV is not a whole lot bigger than an iPhone. It's really like palm-sized. It's much cheaper at only $100. You have um, and Wi-Fi in it, comes with a remote, Netflix and YouTube, HDMI to your TV. It's really quite nice. And it's, uh, it also has a competitor, the Google TV. Up front, these are not reviews or uh, verses of these pro of these products. I've never used either of them. I was in an Apple store today, and they still don't have the uh, the new Apple TV out on the floor. They just have the old one out. Don't know why. Uh, speaking of that, I did look at the new MacBook Air today. It is incredibly thin in performance. I uh, I've seen better, but it isn't bad. We'll get into that later. If anybody wants me to make a thoughts video on it, leave me a comment. But those are probably getting old. So um, TVs. I, I don't think that it's going to be the way it is now in five years. The way it is now, you have a service provider, and that service provider provides you with a box and a separate remote, and then you have to go through that box as 9,000 channels, only 3,000 of which you're paying for. It takes five seconds to scroll down to the bottom and wait for the pixelated menu to move up. It's garbage, all right? I hate it. We have Direct TV here in Northeastern Ohio. We have Direct available, and we have Time Warner available. And you know that I hate Time Warner with a passion, so Direct is the next best thing. So um, TVs, I, I think that we are going to go towards something that has the Internet and YouTube and Netflix and all of that. Uh, really nice, sleek remote that actually gives you control and fast control. The biggest thing that ticks me off with these boxes are they're so slow. AT&T U-verse. Uh, they're much better, much better. You change the channel, it's there before the menu goes away. And the menu didn't take too long to go away. With Time Warner, you'd hit the OK button on a channel, take three seconds for the menu to go away, and another three to load the new picture. And then the sound was off by about two seconds. It was miserable, terrible service from Time Warner. And not much better with DirecTV. Having said all that, the Google TVs and the Apple TVs should be better with things like that. You still need a service provider, obviously, to provide you with service. So I picture this in the next five years where you have something like a Google TV or an Apple TV. Which would I buy? I'm an Apple fan. I like Apple stuff. I would probably get the Apple TV unless I were to use the Google TV and uh, decide that it's a better device. And you know that Google isn't exactly my favorite company in the world. Um, I mean, you get DVR with it. Lots of cool stuff. The menus are super nice. You can buy a rent, actually, with the Apple TV anyways. You rent your videos on it. Beautiful display through HDMI, of course. You're going to get really nice video and picture and uh, audio quality. Um, the movies are great. With my internet connection, it would take five years to buffer the first five seconds of a 1080p video from Time Warner, might I add. But that's definitely the way it's going. So if you're hesitant to, to buy one of these things saying, oh, it's just a fad, we're not going to have things like that, it's going to go back to the cable or something else, no. I would say that it is going to go uh, that way, which makes things easier. You know, you have that box. There's not wires everywhere. TVs, look in the past five years. It went from a coaxial cable line and a, uh, a TV that was deeper than it is wide to uh, the TV we have. It's a 52-inch Sony uh, KDL 52 XBR6. 52 inches uh, XBR class. It's it's a pretty de pre pretty decent TV. It's 1080p. It's got six HDMI's, um, and then we put that crappy service on it because that's all we have. So in the future, I I probably will get an Apple TV sometime soon. Soon, I mean within the next eight months. Who knows? Maybe that's tomorrow's unboxing video. It isn't. So don't hold your breath for that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment. Where, where do you think it's going? What do you have now? What do you want it to be able to do? I mean, do you want it to turn into a computer that's networked? I would really like to see something like that. I would like to have OS X that's networked with a TV app and like a Wii controller to control. I think that'd be awesome being a tech savvy individual. 
uh, but for other people, maybe not. So leave your comments down below. I look forward to reading those. And uh, be sure to check out our site. I always say this at the end of the video, but please do. Um, lots of new content there. Lots of stuff going on. It's really going great. I have a whole bunch of posts I need to approve and edit for today. Uh, that URL is techinform.us. The link's down below. And my Twitter address for all kinds of updated content is uh, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Again, the link's down below. New vlog. Uh, got a new vlog up today. Uh, link is also down below. YouTube.com slash JRS vlog, V L O G. And uh, every Tuesday night, be sure to catch me live from uh, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash user slash tech inform us. So I'll see you guys next Tuesday or in tomorrow's Thursday's video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, you know, comment, and uh, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.